separation. Man, right? Well, I'll tell you, the Bible tells us peace in heaven, glory in the highest, when we worship and praise him and make a big deal and make much of him. And glad submission to the King Jesus is an important aspect. So based on this message, what can we do to become more like Jesus? We've got to gospel center our life in worship. So let's just talk about our worship for a second. Make a big deal about studying the Bible. He's the prophet who brings the word of God. So make a big deal about studying the Bible daily with God and often with others. Make a big deal, right? We, we leave so much celebration that God's instilled into our lives um, that we can rediscover um, by being with him more. And celebration in mourning is also in joy. And I would even say sometimes celebration in mourning is even, even more needed than when things are going super great. So make much of God by studying his Bible much. Study it. Don't just read it. Study it. What does this mean? How does this apply? What is God, what is God trying to tell me through the Holy Spirit? When it comes to community, make a big deal about bringing the kingdom of God in your life. Daily doing biblical deeds fueled by faithfully following Jesus. This is the cloaks and, and the palm branches things we're talking about when you're in community. Because people are going to be asking, why are you climbing in my tree and yanking branches off? And they will say, it's for the king. It's for Jesus. Why you do these nice things? Why do you not cut corners and do bad stuff at work and at school in the neighborhood? Because you're a good person? Nah, not because I'm a good person. It's because of Jesus Christ. Because he's so good and I want to be like him. Why do you love me when I hate you? Because Jesus Christ loves you and wants you to be saved. And I just hit people with it. Like a stone between the eyes, right? Come at me like Goliath. Sling, boonk. There's the truth. Let them do it. I don't really like throw stones at people. I'm just saying, spiritually speaking, I let God do that and pray that sometimes. So, okay, service. Here's a great way to serve people based on this message. Make a big deal about people having peace through the forgiveness of sin. Through the forgiveness of sin. If you just do Christian things, you're not at peace with God. That doesn't make God okay with you because you just do stuff. Unless that's born out of salvation, then that's different. Remember, the peace of God flows through relationships that's at peace with Jesus. How do you get at peace with Jesus? You confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. You believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, and you shall be saved. It's with your heart that you believe unto righteousness. It's your mouth that you confess unto justification. So make a big deal about people being saved. Make a big deal about people being saved. And finding that forgiveness for their sins. And then finally, in multiplication, make a big deal about the one true King, Jesus Christ. Encourage others to join us, and when I say us, Christians, even here at Chapel Bay, as we lay down our lives and resources in glad submission to him. We, oh, I know, it, it sounds so tongue-in-cheek, but it really is true. There should be more Palm Sunday in us, if you get what I'm saying, every day. Like every day, we should figure that out. What are the branches at your work that, that can be ripped off and laid down before Christ? What's your smartphone or your cloak or your wallet that can be put before him and allow him to go? But what if he steps on it? What if it gets this? What if that happens to it? What if that? He's the sovereign Lord of all. He will provide and he will care for you. He will make a way. And your expectations of what you want isn't always what you need the most. And only he knows that. So you encourage others to join, right? Uh, what, is, what is the great phrase of the Gospels when people are living for Jesus? How, how, how do they encourage others? Come and see. That's all they said. Just come and see. Just come and see the good Lord. So I would encourage you this week and every week. Uh, you know what? You don't live a week at a time. You only live one day at a time. This day? Come and see. Just in peop invite people to come and see. Maybe you've got to pull two palm branches off. Maybe you've got to lay down double for someone else who hasn't yet in order that they might see how great and glorious he really is. Now, back to the one thing. One last time. Jesus Christ is the king we all need. And you can choose any other noun you want. Power, pleasure, money, Position, achievement, lowliness, humbleness, self-deprecation, minimalist, any of those other things are not the king that people need. 
Jesus Christ is the king that they need. There's no more loving of a savior because there is no other savior. There's no more wise of a savior because there is no other savior than Jesus Christ. And the time is short for us. We don't have much longer on this earth in which to live. So we must make the most of it in every chance we get. And if God calls you home as you're laying down the quote-unquote palm branch one more time for someone else so Jesus can make a way, because you know what happens when you lay down um, cloaks and um, palm branches for others? It made it easier for the animal to get where it's going. So what's the translation there? It makes it easier for Jesus to get where he is. So why don't you just make it more truthful for others to get the Christ and to know the way?